Hey guys, Fajima101 here, back with our second International Challenge matchup. This one we are going up against Reaper, who is bringing with him a Premier Emma Mimikyu, Lycan Rock Midnight Form, and a Elola Marowak. So, a really, really interesting team. He's running double fairies, which is why Play Doh Muck is coming. Um, we've got Elola Marowak, which is why um, Mudstyle is coming, because it can pretty much shut that down if we need it to. Uh, you can also deal with the Mimikyu if it's physical as well, because of Heavy Slam and Stun with Boost, we can take. We've taken a plus four um, player off one before now, lived and KO'd it, so we'll see how we go. Uh, we're bringing in Sinroy because of Fake Out Pressure, and we're bringing Tapu Lele, again, just mainly because of um, we can hit quite a lot of stuff on this team for super effective, both Lycan Rock and the Alola Mara, but we'll jump straight on to it for you. So what was interesting with Reaper's team is he hadn't actually got any Tapu's or Ultra Beast on, which was refreshing to see. So we're going to open up with Incineroar and Tapu Finny here, although he's got um, water and fairy types on his team. Um, it gives us a bit of fake out pressure at the start, which is handy. Um, so it means we'll be able to break Mimikyu's disguise for free this turn, so we can just fake out into Pre-Marina, and then just get a scald off into the Mimikyu and just break that thing's disguise. I'm pretty sure it just wants to set up, because that's what we, well, in normal singles, that's what Mimikyu does, yeah. So we see the seals down to go, and VGC this thing can do a shed load of different stuff, so I'm surprised we don't see these more often, to be fair. Um, so he's going to get the Mimikyu, we get the flinch on Prima Rima. Um, Scaldi's going to go into the Mimikyu slot and break this thing's disguise. So that gives us a little bit of an easier job to trying to deal with it. Um, so what we're going to do here is switch out into Instant Raw, predicting a Scald or a Hydro Pump. Uh, and go out into Muck as well. We, there's a good chance because we use this for Play Rough and we're quite bulky with live it. Um, but you actually play Rough into Finny, which does a turn of damage and takes us down to 28. That's neutral, that does loads. Um, but it does pop our Citrus, which is good news for us. Uh, as we see, a Hydro Pump come out from the Premier Union, which was, we actually avoid, so Muck dodging left, right, and centre here. So a bit of luck on our side, but I would never run Hydro Pump for that reason. Mine always misses. Always misses. Why always run Scald? Uh, Finny, we're going to protect this turn because I figured he might want to try and pick up the nice easy KO. Uh, as we see, Play Rough from the Mimikyu does go into Finny to try and pick up the KO on her. Uh, as Hydro Pump from Primarina is going to connect on Muck. Uh, we are especially bulky though. Yeah, so that's a three hit KO as we get a Poison Jab off into the Mimikyu slot. Uh, it doesn't quite pick up the KO unfortunately though, but Shadow Sneak should next turn. Uh, so we make a bit of a risky play here. We actually switch out into Incineroar. So I didn't really want to lose um, uh, Finny this quickly. As we go for a Shadow Sneak on the Mimikyu. And um, that is going to pick up the KO on Mimikyu, thankfully for us. I figured Muk could, could live, he's easily going to live another Hydro Pump if it lands. Uh, which it does land, but now he's going to Hydro Pump into Finny. So uh, as Muk lives on 19, we do get, does have Pop Our Figgy Berry. So Muk tanking that like a boss and getting all his health back. Bless her. Uh, it's a her, it is a her. Uh, Lycan Rock is going to come in. So I've not faced one of these before, I'm not 100% sure what it does. So we actually misplay here. What we should have done was faked out the... Um, gone for a fake out on one or the other of his mons. Instead we actually go protect and go for an EQ, but get massively outsped and get one-shotted by a um, Stone Edge. I don't know if that crit mattered, it might have, because we are max hit points, I know it's super effective. It depends on the spread, I suppose. Uh, as we do get protect off though, so... We'd have been in a really good place if the EQ had landed. Now we're up against, a little bit up against it with this Lycan Rock. So we're going to go back out into Finina here. Uh, we're going to get our Misty Surge back up. So uh, we're going to see this Lycan Rock goes for a Stone Edge on Muck. And Muck dodging left, right and centre today. So we get a little bit of luck there. Because that probably would have picked up a KO. Uh, Finny lives a Moonblast on three and does get a Scald off. So some bought from Finny there really coming in handy. And um, it takes Lycan Croc down, but we're not going to get another one off. Uh, as the Poison Jack from Muck does KO with the Tree Marina, that's going to do a nice chunk of damage and take this thing out completely. So his double fairies are gone. The only thing I'm worried about dealing with right now is this Lycan Rock as we see Marowak come in. Um, so my key thing here is to try and get Mudstyle in for free. So we're going to protect with Finney this turn, predicting hopefully he's going to try and just pick up a quite quick KO. Um, we're going to get a Shadow Sneak off, because I know everything on this book pretty much outspeeds me, on the Marowak to get some damage off on it to make it a bit easier to KO. And um, Lycanroc actually goes for a Brick Break for some reason into um, Finny though, as we see for a Bone Rank and through from Muck. So yeah, not, I know we were low hit points, but I'm not quite sure why Brick Break. Maybe you didn't want to miss the Stone Edges miss, I guess. 
to be protected anyway, so it didn't matter. Uh, it does mean we can get Mud goes down, unfortunately, but it does mean we can go bring out Mud Stalin who can start tying up loose ends for us. Uh, Lycanroc goes for a brick like on Muck. He's obviously, I've got Fingy's Feather for missing moves, but that just gives us a nice stand and boost, so we're in a really good position with Mud Style now. Uh, Boomerang is going to come through and connect on Finney. Uh, is that thing Choice, maybe? I suppose it could be Choice Banded. Uh, it's going to hit one time and KO Finney to go for that. So it was a chance of a miss there. High horsepower from Mud Style is going to connect. It's going to kick Marowak in the face and blast it back, to, back into next week into his Pokeball. So Marowak goes down. So now we're in a pretty good place here, one on one with Lycan Rock. Uh, he's going to go for a Sucker Punch, we're just going to go for, um, he does go a crit, um, it doesn't do a lot to be fair, so this one is pretty much now tied up for us, as uh, we just go for a Heavy Slam from Mudstyle, uh, and going to Pancake Slam this thing into next week, as the Lycan Rock goes down. And we're going to win our second match of the International Challenge. So, um, really pleased with that one. We may have made a one, maybe possible misplaced part right in there. But um, I knew as long as we got Mudstyle um, and we could get him in for free towards the end of that match with the two ones he got left on the field. But we were in a pretty good place to be fair. So, hope you enjoyed the battle guys. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like rating. Uh, leave any comments in the comments section and I'll try and answer each and every one of them. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure you sub to the channel for more content updates. If I don't see you around guys, I will see you on Battle Spot. Take care for now. Bye.